The nightmare woke her up. She breathed a momentary sigh of relief as she realized it was only a dream. Yet little did she know, the reality would be so much worse. The truth is, he had been watching her for a very long time. Examining her every move. Studying her behavior. Obsessing over the perfect moment. Who's there? The stalker jumped on top of her, ready to end Leah's life, as he aimed his... As he aimed his... As he aimed his... Knife? That's a big cliche, don't you think? Baseball bat, then? Why would he have a baseball bat? I'm a failure. No, no, you'll get it figured out. It's just the weapon. You just gotta think of something cool. Like what? Knives? Cliche. Machete. Cliche. Gaunt. Really, really cliche. You just gotta think outside the box. You know, be bold. Or italic. Never regular. Okay, now oh, that was cliche. Okay, Emily, I'm just trying to help. And there is a difference between being cliche and hilarious. Is there now? I'm a goofball. You know, you don't ask the goofball for help. I need a fresh perspective. Your story has an interesting setting, an interesting setup. You really just gotta figure out who the killer is. So you're saying the killer isn't interesting? Come on, you know, a creepy stalker who kills people? I'm saying this as a friend, I think you're brilliant and capable of coming up with something better. I wish I had the same amount of confidence in myself as you do. Oh shit, I'm late. My date's on her way to the restaurant. I keep forgetting you have a hot date tonight. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. She's new in town. I'm running late for my date, too. You have a date? Really? With who? So, why did you lie to him? What did you expect me to say? I'm going to see my therapist? Oh, and by the way, you're partially the reason I have a therapist in the first place because I've been madly in love with you for three years, so I unleash my anxious feelings in writing murder novels even though you think they suck. Well, well, I do truly appreciate how you go about and find your creative feelings, even if they are those grisly horror novels. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter, they're no good.
Now, why would you say that? I can't come up with clever characters. Or clever kills, or even clever weapons. Have you ever thought of pulling inspiration from real life cases? I happen to know that there are several unsolved murders here in this very town. Really? Here? In Springwood? Oh, you'd never know. the fuck out of me. What did I do now? I was researching serial killers from our town. You're always working, aren't you? Hey, I, I thought you were on a date. Well, it got cut short. Yeah, mine too. Really? Well, hey, do you maybe want to come over and help me with this research? Right now? Seriously? Yeah. Well, yeah, sure, I'll be right over. I brought tacos. So how's the research going? Good, actually. I've been looking into this guy that went psycho several years ago. Some Fred? Or Freddy Krueger? That sounds familiar. Did he have a good weapon? Gloves. Not cliche. Not cliche at all. Apparently, some people reported seeing him in their dreams, and some kids in the insane asylum testified that he actually murdered their friends in their dreams. That's wild. Right? A dream killer. <laughs> Sounds like the perfect rewrite before bedtime. Especially since your parents are out of town. I'm kind of obsessed. You concern me. <laughs> but it is very unsettling. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep alone tonight. Is that right? Are you single? Do you want me to? Yeah, you know, like a friend sleepover. Like a friend over? <laughs> yeah, friend <laughs> over, without the cuddle. Unless you want to. Oh. Okay. This is a plot twist? If you want to. No pressure. I want to.
This one seems a little cliche, don't you think? Why not? Cut Wake up. What's going on, Emily? Wake up. Oh my god. <laughs> Police are still searching for the suspect in the connection to the grisly murder of Emily Thompson here at her home in Springwood. The murders took place two days ago, and the police are still searching for answers as to what provoked such a gruesome crime. The suspect in question, 23-year-old Derek Ryder, has supposedly fled the state and is considered to be armed and dangerous. Witnesses say they've spotted Ryder's car fleeing Ohio and heading further west into Indiana, or possibly Illinois. Authorities will be on full alert for any sightings of Derek and advise precaution during this Halloween weekend. 